On this week's episode of Go, we're going taste testing around the world with these little food critics. So what do you guys want to try first? Greece. Greece. So two lemon potatoes and Greek salad to try, please. Mmm, that looks really good. That has tons of olives in it. Do you like olives? Yes. Wow, what do we have here? We have Ukrainian food here today. We have pierogies and borscht. Yum. Mm. Mm. I'm going to try it with the sour cream too. Welcome back to Go and as I mentioned, we're taste testing with these little food critics here. So guys, are you ready to go try out some more food? Yes. What do you, what do you want to try? The German table. That's pretty good, hey? Yeah. Was it spicy enough for your taste? No, not at no. all. No. It wasn't no. spicy, though. These guys are pretending like they can actually handle some real spice. So, do you guys want to go and actually see if you can handle some real spicy food? Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah. I don't think they have any idea what they're in for. Let's go try it out anyway. Come on, guys. All right, guys. You know where we are? What, what country is this? Uh, I think it's Germany. Nope. What country is it? Um, Puerto Rico. It's Portugal indeed. And uh, we're going to ask the lovely lady here for some exotic spicy food and see if you guys can actually handle this. So, can you tell me a little bit about what we're going to be trying today? Yeah, I'm going to be trying some spicy prawns uh, all the way from Portugal. And uh, they're going to really hurt you. Yeah. You bet you. Try it out. Like a champ. Your face is turning a little red. No? <laughs> is it spicy? No, not that much. Not that much? Okay. And what did you think, young man? Spicy enough? No. We went around the world today testing out food from different cultures and stuff. What did you guys think of that? I think it was pretty cool that we could taste food from different types of countries and I never expected, expected that it would mm. taste so good. What was your favorite thing that you tried out here today? My favorite thing was Portugal. And, Yours? and my favorite part was this spicy shrimp. It was, it was it as good as your favorite TV anchor? Um, probably, yeah. You know Anand Chandy, a really awesome TV anchor? Yes. You know who that is? Who is it? It's, uh... Honestly, but even I don't know who that guy is. And if you want to find out more about who that guy is, go check out this story that he did with the Pony Club in Kunal. So, Declan, I heard that you really love spicy food. Mm -hmm. I really like spicy food. Okay, well, we're standing here in front of the fire hydrant just in case your mouth blows up in flames because this right here is extremely spicy so I dare you to try that. No, I dare you. What? No, I double dare you. No, I, I triple dare you. No, 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 no. I quadruple dare you. I quadruple dare you times two. Okay, well clearly he's cheating so while we figure this situation out, go and check out the next story. Okay, before we go to break, we've decided we're both going to try this together. Okay, ready, Declan? Okay. On three. One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh Run my. Okay, I need cotton candy. Something. Oh, that's spicy. Welcome back to Go, and we're still here at the food festival slash carnival, and we're here talking to Amanda. Amanda, do you want to tell me about what's going on here today? 
Uh, today we have uh, 13 different vendors that are here to represent around the world. Uh, we're here to just showcase the different cultures and nationalities we have within our school. And uh, do you want to tell me why you guys are actually organizing this? The, the main purpose of this function is we are sending our teachers away to Vancouver to FISA's 50th anniversary. They are having people like Chris Hatfield come and we're going to train our teachers. There's a new curriculum coming out throughout British Columbia. So we want to make sure that our teachers at North Caribou Christian School are, are able to take our kids into the next uh, generation. Right on. Now, talking about the kids, what do you hope that the kids will actually get out of an experience like this? Um, well, we've already been teaching. Our 4-5 class did a food uh, market in their classroom, so they were able to do research and reports on the food, and now they get to taste and see what those cultures are like. Right on. Now, we're going to go and check out a story, but when we come back, we're going to talk to one of the chefs here to see what was cooked up here today. So I'm standing here with one of the parents from the school. This is actually Declan's mom, Julie. Julie, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, so I actually challenged Declan to uh, try a very, very spicy food with me because he said he loves spices. Now, where does he get this kind of sense of adventure, sense of, I guess, love of spice from? Um, I've cooked a lot in my life. So uh, we eat a lot of different ethnic foods. I don't like to cook the same types of things. So I use my, usually use my kids as guinea pigs. And he's the first one to step up to the plate most of the time. So it doesn't surprise me at all that he would try something super spicy. Wow, OK. So I see here that we it looks kind of spicy. I can see a lot of spices in this. What, what do we have here? So I was chosen to represent Israel. Okay. Um, and I made the sun-dried tomato and olive couscous salad and then we we're serving it with a falafel. So normally, I think traditionally, you would eat the couscous inside of a pita with the falafels on top. Um, there's a little bit of spice in the falafels, a little bit of cayenne to, to bring out the heat, but for the most part, there's just a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people mix up flavor and spice. I think spice, you think of heat, but right. there's tons of flavor in this dish. Oh, okay, so it's not spicy at all then? Um, the falafel might be a little bit, but it kind of represents the, the, the hot food served on the cold food because the salad is served cold and the falafel is served warm. Now it has been snowing a bit outside but this kind of reminds me of kind of a summer barbecue salad feel. I definitely think it's kind of neat when you're eating something and you look outside and it's all wintry and snowy and then you're eating something that might remind you of something you just ate when you were you know having those summer barbecues so it's, it's kind of refreshing. But for everyone, that is still reminded of the snow outside. There's a new winter activity at Mount Timothy that you must check out. Wow, that was just so spicy. Oh. Thanks for watching that episode of Go, and we hope you enjoyed it. And before we leave, especially for the two people here suffering from the spicy food, I'm at the most exotic table of them all. Are you guys ready for your exotic surprise from this food carnival? Yep. Yeah. What could it yeah. be? Cotton candy for everyone.